Hello and welcome to today's episode of Into the Dojo, where today uh, we're going to be talking about power generation. All right, so when I first started practicing martial arts, first martial art that I ever did, I think I was the elementary school or something. I did like one day of Taekwondo. And then that didn't last very long. And then years later, I got into karate, and that's kind of the start of my martial arts journey. But throughout high school and most of university, uh, maybe the first year of university, I was obsessed with punching. I wanted to punch hard. Like, I really, I wanted to knock people out. Like, I wanted to punch hard. I wanted the, I was after the one hitter quitter, but I wanted all of my punches from my jabs to my uppercuts to be one hitter quitters. And I wanted that for the people that I was training too. So I came across this, not particularly this particular version of it, uh, Championship Fighting, Explosive Punching and Aggressive Defense by Jack Dempsey. I came across this in PDF form online Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, DC++. All right. So if you've never seen this book, or if you've never heard of this book before, it Jack Dempsey really just goes and gives you the very fundamentals of power generation, like very basic. The way he explains, Explains power generation. It's kind of like this lecture. Let's go show you right now. All right. So when he goes into learning about applying power or having a very powerful punch, what he really starts to talk about is the usage of your body weight. So the weight of your entire body, the muscles in your legs, your feet, and your back being the two most important things. So body weight, mass, and the power of your legs. And to put your body weight in explosive motion, i.e. throwing your body weight, your entire body weight at your opponent and using your arms and your fists as just delivery systems or uh, delivery tools for that power is directing that power some towards something or someone. And he really goes in depth about using the falling step as dropping the weight explosively forward and allowing the impact of the fist to, to lead, followed by the dropping of the foot. So your fist makes contact and then your foot lands. So, when we're talking about generating power for striking, there's a number of different ways primarily two ways of generating power either you are falling either your weight is falling forward or you are rotating something and it's not going to be 100% one or 100% of the other it's going to be a combination of those those two ways of generating power now there are other ways of generating power if you're looking at traditional martial arts, there are multiples of different ways of generating power. But today, we're only thinking about those two. Uh, primarily, the one, the, the falling step, Jack Dempsey's falling step. So, first, let me show you guys how I used to punch. Now, I said that I was a traditional martial artist. I started off with one day of Taekwondo, and then in high school, started Karate. So, I'm going to turn sideways, right? So, our whole thing was punching. Was We started with the hands in chamber. And one hand was out in some way, shape, or form, right? Either here, gripping, or here, somewhere the hand was out here, right? From here, in however my stance was, I'll, I'll do a zen kutsuchacha or, or a long stance for you. We would start here, hips would be open, so like my my groin would be pacing this way, and I would twist, 
and turn. And we take a step and turn, right? Is 100, this is 100% the rotation. It's a bit limited, but it has its place. Now, with the, the Jack Dempsey's falling step, you can think of it like this. I'm gonna have to, we're gonna look at this two different ways, or well, in two different, different cuts. So here, if I just stand here, and I kind of slightly raise, well, slightly raise or just raise the heel on my back leg. I'm right-handed, so my right leg is in the back, my left leg is in front, is my, my lead. Now, what we normally do in walking is we bring our weight to one side and we take the step. That way we can, we can clear and transfer our body weight from one side to the other in a kind of controlled fall. What Jack Dempsey wants you to do is without shifting your body weight. So your weight should already be on the lead leg. Now it's not gonna be here, this is exaggerated for your purposes, right? For you to understand uh, and to see this much more easily, clearly. So we stand here, weight is on the lead leg. From here, from this position, I take a step with the lead leg, the leg that has the weight on it. And from here, without shifting the weight, I take the step. All right, so, we have like the footwork, kind of. It's gonna take you a while to get used to it. That's no problem. So that's kind of like the falling step in very like basic terms, right? Now, the next thing that goes on top of the falling step uh, is the, the shoulder. Now, if you watch how my body looks, I'm kind of lurched forward already. Because I'm when I'm doing it, I'm kind of already imagining that the guard is up. So that's why my shoulders are kind of hunched up. My neck is like, Argh. almost look like I have a double chin if I didn't have a beard, right? I look like that. But the idea is like that initiates the move, that first initiation is then followed by like this. Now, Jack Dempsey calls this shoulder whirl, and you, boxers do this. Every, this, this, this movement right here. It's not, we don't shoot the punch straight out. We kind of, kind of get it moving like this, right? So it kind of, if you look at, if you like, if you think about trains like the old like steam engines and they have like the long metal arm that runs across the wheels all the steel wheels that run along the track right and that arm it does this like so if you look at if you look at it in motion like the train in motion this is what the arm this is what the arm's doing and you can think about the shoulder being like one of those wheels attached to the metal arm and it does this this right and so trying to combine those two things we're going to work on that a little bit but so the motion that you're going to kind of go for right so the motion that we're going for is is this is this motion the shoulder is this right this so 
let's try to put those two together and let's try to do a jab with the falling step and the shoulder whirl. Mm. All right, so we're here. So we have, we kind of have two things down, right? Uh, we have the falling step. We have the falling step, right? So we have this thing, right? We have this thing. It's gonna take a while to get used to, so don't worry. And we have, I should face this way since I'm doing it with the jab, right? So we have the falling step. And we have the shoulder whirl. This is a shoulder whirl, right? And it was a... <laughs> ah, what was his name? It was a boxing, boxing coach from UB. Oh, man. I can't, re I can't remember his name for the life of me, but he taught his jab like that. It was the drop step. And the shoulder whirls. I kind of remember that. It's, it's crazy. Really good boxing coach. Old school. <laughs> Man, he he was one of the, he, he was one of those guys that if you talk to somebody, he'd be like, yeah, man, I used to thump people like like old. Oh, I mean, I, man, you get thumped. Anyway, I'm sorry, I digress. Right? <laughs> Let me get on task again. All right, so so we have these two things, right? We have we have this. There's a little bit of rotation because I have to explosively turn my hip into the drop step. So there's there's a bit of this, there's a bit of this, and there's a bit of this. I'm gonna put that in there somewhere. All right. So we have the rotation, the kind of a little bit of the rotation that I showed you from the karate punch. We have this this right we have this drop step that gets our weight and our body weight moving forward and we have the arm to help us drop that weight onto someone or something ideally someone's face so if you put those things together from here We'll do it from a few different positions, right? From here, we're forward. I think we're slipping, right? We're rolling. And we throw us, we cross, we slip, and we're here. We're already loaded for this. And we throw that weight forward. And we drop that jab. can take that, that falling, that very fundamental falling step, and you can add it to your punches or even your hooks. I do it a lot with uh, a power slap. I did it a few times in some of my, uh, my, uh, my kudo matches. It was, it was a weird combination between falling step gazelle and this, if you guys know the gazelle punch, right? So I would load up, leap off of the lead leg to throw my uh, shote or hook. It's a combination that you can use these things in different ways. So work that on your own uh, and tell me how you like it. Now, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and please, leave a comment. Ask us for uh, any other videos that you would like. Uh, but my name is Manny and sign out.